Hello and welcome to everybody. This is my first video on the keto diet, which I've been on since August of 2020, August 1st, at which time I weighed 296.7 pounds. I weighed myself two days ago. I was 262.5 pounds. So I've lost a little bit of weight and it's working for me and I recommend it. But it's not an easy diet to stay on. And one of the things that you have to deal with is sweetness. If you want something sweet, you have to be very particular about how you sweeten it. Now, when I first started on this diet, I tried stevia. And you might be familiar with stevia. Sometimes maybe something like this. I don't know how well you can see that. Stevia in the raw comes in these little packets. And you shake them up, tear the top off, sprinkle them in your, in your drink or whatever. <clears throat> stevia is very sweet but it has a bitter aftertaste in my opinion some people don't notice it they don't seem to mind me not my thing but if you can get away with stevia it is probably your cheapest option but what I will tell you is this if you flip it over and you read the ingredients what's that first ingredient there let's see there I'm gonna try to get it where you can read it Dextrose. You know what dextrose is? For anything that ends in O-S-E, it's sugar. So this has, it says less than one gram of carbs per packet, but it's still probably pretty close to a whole carb. So, what do you do about that? So, they sell this at Walmart. You can get different brands. You can get things on on uh, you on Amazon, but it is the liquid stevia, and the ingredients on it: water, erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. We'll talk about that in a minute. Stevia, natural flavor, malic acid, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, which are preservatives. Not crazy about preservatives either, but these drops are zero carb better option if you're going to use stevia. Now something else you can use is allulose. There's different brands. I don't recommend any particular brand. I did like the idea of the liquid allulose, but they do make it also in a powdered form. That I have used several times. No spike in my blood sugar. Uh, like Steve at Serious Keto likes to say, your mileage may vary. Enjoy his channel. Recommend it highly. But another thing that you might want to use, let me zip it up there where you can see a little better. Monk fruit. Boy, that's hard to get it. There it is. Monk fruit. And I searched and searched. This seemed to be the best deal on monk fruit. But this is a zero calorie, supposed to be one of the strongest ones, zero carbs. It's not as sweet as you would think it is. Neither is the allulose. That takes quite a bit to sweeten things. And both of them have a funny taste, nowhere near as bitter as the stevia, though. So that's another low carb sweetening option. Now, there's several others that I'm not going to mention that you could use. Um, there's Swerve which I have some in the cupboard up there. I have some of the confectioner swerve in the cupboard right here behind me. I'll go ahead and pull it out and show it to you. I didn't have it ready to go, but I should have. Right there. Swerve. And main ingredient in swerve, erythritol. And then prebiotic oligosaccharides and natural flavors. Total carbs, three. You look carefully there, total carbs of three. Pause it if you want. There's also three sugar alcohols, and that is what erythritol is. Swerve, got a pretty decent flavor, and it shouldn't affect your blood sugar. It's never affected mine. The reason I didn't want to go too far into that is because this is the second best one I've had. This is the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener with erythritol, but in reality it's erythritol with monk fruit. 
But if you look at the back, once again, got to figure out a way to make that show up better. Four carbs, four sugar alcohols. So, balances out to zero, doesn't it? So that one there, that one is a really good option. It's a little pricey though. When you start getting into the erythritol, the swerve, this, you're getting a little pricey. That recently went up to $30 for that bag right there, which is, if I remember right, three pounds. Yep, three pounds. So it's basically $10 a pound. Swerve, it's a 12 ounce package. You get it at Walmart for about eight bucks, a little under eight bucks after tax, a little over eight bucks. But, um, well, I guess there's no tax on food. But still, eight bucks for. 12 ounces, so that's going to be 12 bucks a pound for Swerve, which is basically the same thing. And I've tried a lot of different kinds. I'm going to make a recommendation here. It's up to you what you want to do. But there's this one. Boca Sweet. No aftertaste. No aftertaste. Not quite as sweet as sugar, because you have to use a little bit more. But as opposed to 10 or $12 a pound for the Lakanto and the Swerve, respectively, this, $13 a pound. And the package doesn't want to stay up. $13 a pound. Not quite as sweet. No aftertaste. And one other thing about the erythritol is... I know with me anyway, it gives me a bit of a stomach ache. It's a little hard for your body to digest. I have not had that problem with Boca Sweet. So, in all honesty, I would say if you're going to spend the money, get the Boca Sweet. Just don't bake a whole lot of stuff because it's expensive. Now, what I do sometimes is I'll mix the Boca Sweet and then put in a little bit of the Lakanto because the Lakanto has more of a true sugar flavor. And yes, sugar has a flavor. But I still get a little bit of that punch in the gut. So I'm not fond of that. So anyway, that is my little video on carb-free sweeteners. Like I said, some of them might spike your blood sugar. They, none of these have spiked my blood sugar, except for the stevia and the packets. And that's still a very small amount of sugar in there. But it does have sugar in it. So... That's what your options are. Like I said, you do have a few other options that you can try. Make your choice respectively. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And no, I'm not sponsored by any of these. I'm just telling you the things that I have learned. Thus the name of the channel. Someone who has learned a lot in their life. In the old days, used to be called a learned person. And that's the name of the channel. Learned. I don't consider myself an expert on too many things, but I'm kind of a jack of all trades. And this is one thing I've learned and become learned in through trial and error and practice and a couple hundred dollars. So take it as you wish. And please be assured for this video and all the others, I'm not a doctor. I can't promise you anything other than what I've told you that my experience is with these products.